We're full screen. Get in line. This is episode five. Go watch the other four if this is the first one. I'm Swiss. That's... Fumpy. <laughs> That's Fumpy. Get in line. I'm in line. So, yeah. Episode five. Get in line. Storyline complete. Which is literally me just picking up where we left off last time. That's what I got for beating that one dude up. Easy. Okay. So here we are, episode five. Uh, still got Tavish on the one side. Troy here. And then... So Troy is oh. to advance the main storyline too. So like anytime oh. you see me avoiding Troy, it's because more often than not, Troy is what advances me in the main storyline and it will make it where I can't do any of the other stuff that was available there. Is it? Still I'm backlash funny. from this whole thing. <laughs> fucking, oh, so he's making fun of you. Yeah. I thought he was just generally stupid and posted his damn password. <laughs> oh, he is. That's what that was. That's what that was. You ask him that. Did you just post your password? He's like, damn it. Now I gotta pick a new one. This guy. Hello, Cham. I hope you'll forgive an old time I button in your business. But it seems you've got yourself an Irish storm brewing. Seamus has been telling everyone your reign is about to finish. He has a heavy now, accent. Days may be oh, yeah. Me, but there's no way I'd let a comment like that stand. I reckon you show that Irish warrior you're not close to finished in a finisher match. So, I wasn't entirely sure what this actually meant either. Until I played the match. It is literally just the first person to hit a finisher wins. You don't have to pin, just hit the finisher. Okay. Oh. I must. Uh, okay. I can only hope that you do it first. Because you're just going to beat his ass. Oh. My Irish brother. The Celtic warrior always mm. ready. Scottish? Irish? Celtic. Uh. He's Irish. The following is scheduled. We're about to find out. One fall. When they introduce him, that's all I swear. Representing the brawling brutes from Dublin, Ireland. There you go. Going in at 267 pounds. The Celtic warrior. The Celtic Warrior has accomplished just about I do like everything there is to accomplish in WWE. It's, it's different than sh than than these ones. But I, I do like the, the Shillelagh. Success? Hey, that's just a byproduct. I feel like it's a very simple weapon to use in a match. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, very effective. And there he is, the man who's blazing his trail. Through WWE. If you didn't know what game this was, 2K24. Like and subscribe. SXE Bear. Put this in the Discord. Also an SXE Bear. And his opponent, See it all there? SXE Bear. Weighing in at 240 pounds. You can use that for Discord. You can use that for YouTube. And not Twitter, because fuck Twitter. A once forgotten man who is now etched in the annals yeah. of WWE history. This is inspiration personified. Sure, but he better be careful or he might find out what happens when an underdog becomes overrated. It usually doesn't end well for them. Like the moment they start to talk well of me, the other ones immediately like, hold on. Anticipation is palpable as each competitor is already looking for that perfect moment to unleash their mm. devastating finishing moves. If I were in the Dark Horse's shoes, I'd be praying to avoid the bro kick from Sheamus. Yeah. Well, if the champ yeah, is in no, that ring that praying, kid. he's quickly going to be prey and yesterday's news. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. God, you just pick him in the spot. <laughs> yeah, no, like, it's funny because Sheamus does have a more... 
heavy-handed move set, but like it pales in comparison to the fact that I just pelt you nonstop. Everything comes in twos or threes. Amazing how smooth that looked. Must be. I think I literally decided to use like all of my grapple moves on Sheamus. I think is what I'm actually doing, like just going through the grapple set. Sheamus is getting beaten down. Gonna take a trip, gentlemen. Straight down to the two oh one face breaker. Sheamus looked like he may have been the one to receive some lumps there. So, like, if you're reversing stuff, it really builds up your uh, signature meter mm -hmm. more than just landing hits and stuff. So, it's one of those things where, like, I either need to go beat the crap out of the guy as fast as I can or get as many reversals as quickly as I can. Which makes total sense. I mean, kind of what you're trying to do all together. He's just having his way in this match. The advantage is squarely in his corner. One of the ways it does help keep you in the game is just that the reversals are worth so much more. At this point, I'm forgetting what order I've used already. As in to like keep it. Yep. That's boring. Okay. Lift up. Like trying to show the variety. That's why it was like fucking. I'm going up top. Like He's get back up. I mean, you already. He's starting to struggle there. here. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. He's lining up. This taunt is literally to stand him back up. Like, come on, James. A raucous the space. SmackDown crowd. They came to see the action, and the blue brand is always ready to and oblige. Like, Cole, fishing for something. I didn't realize that weapons were a thing. He's got a kendo okay. Stick. We see, see you use the kendo the stick, and bro. And time again. <laughs> Need a midsection. Bang to the neck. The Celtic. So, like I said, in this one, I have no yeah, idea if the weapons are legal or not. Down. So I'm just not touching it. I don't need it anyway. Yeah, yep. yeah that's a signature. And gets him with the no shame. Could be a chance for him to Here's change my the complexion of this match. Uh, ducking underneath. This is a unique move. That's it. Calling it by knockout. Yeah. Easy. So, like I said, I played this on normal difficulty too. So, the WWE Universal Title puts a target on his back every time. It, it's funny. Uh, call me what you will, but uh, I'm definitely a person right that always goes on easy for story. I just like enjoy the story. Uh, I always try my hand at the standard difficulty first, just mm -hmm. to see how it is. And if I'm feeling uber overwhelmed, I'll drop it down. Otherwise, I'm okay with failing, or I like a little bit of a challenge. Uh, like Madden games, even like I don't play on you know all Madden by any means, but like I want it to give me a little bit of a fight. Like I, I if I'm playing with a group of friends and we're just racking up a score, by all means I'll do that. But if I'm playing by myself, I don't mind having a bit more difficulty to something. Uh, and for this playthrough, yeah, I, I felt like the other thing was if I went to easy difficulty, these matches would have been harder to watch. Because, like, then they there really wouldn't be any chances to reverse, because they wouldn't really be trying to reverse. Well, 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 all hail the conquering hero. <sighs> Troy, what's got you so excited? <laughs> other than I finally got that promotion to producer? Probably the fact that your stock is on the rise, too. The response to your TLC match with KO was off the charts, and you've been on a roll ever since. I know my boss, Miz, has been taking notice. Okay, so what do you and Miz have for me tonight? Network sweeps are coming up, so we need to pop a big rating. And with your newfound popularity around the office, Miz has something very special plan for his undisputed 
WWE Universal Champion. That is the kind of cryptic answer that makes me uneasy. And when I'm uneasy, I get on edge. And when I'm on edge, that makes me want to go out there and create some chaos. Do that you shit. You want me to create some chaos, Troy? Yes. Yes! That's exactly the kind of programming we want during sweeps. So head out to the ring, and we'll get to see how your chaos and Mrs. Big Surprise play out. Troy, I will head to the ring. And I don't care what Miz has up his yeah. sleeve. I'm going to tell your boss exactly what I think of him and his big plan for sweeps. Great. Yeah, Sounds the controls like batteries are still low. <laughs> At this point, every time that pops up, I'm all like, yeah, I gotta do that soon. <laughs> and then I press A. The Miz is something special planned for the WWE Universal Champion. Again, this is what I'm wearing to the ring. Please give me an option to change this. This guy has done is honestly inspiring. What a leader. I haven't been on SmackDown very long. But if there's one thing I've learned, it's that when our GM has a must-see announcement. Okay. Hear me out and keep this in mind. Okay. I feel like almost all of the Dark Horses promos and most of his responses are written by Cody Rhodes. They are spoken and delivered like Cody. It sounds like Cody. The, you need to respect me, and I'm earning your respect. Here I am doing the right thing, the white knight. It, I, every, every time I do something like this in the game in the ring, all I hear is Cody Rhodes. Tell me what you think. Uh, honestly, I, I kind of already like witnessed that, and it, it would make sense. I mean, two K twenty four is on it. I wonder how much uh, input he had in the actual game. And, and Cody's the kind of cat that could totally have been on the side helping write a bunch of the storyline dialogue for this. That's that's right. not out of the question. For all I know, this entire playthrough were other ideas for Cody. I don't know. It's generally bad news for me. So, Miz, I'm not going to sit back and wait for you to try to pull one over on me. Whatever big surprise you have planned, I'm ready for it. Right now. Got to admire the champion trying to do things on his own yeah. terms. Come on, Miz. What do you got? If yeah. Miz was expecting to intimidate him, doesn't seem oh, to Timmy, be Timmy, second row back. Oh, Surprise, shit. it's the big red machine. Jimmy. But where is he? Kane oh. in the ring. With a huge right hand. Kane's got him over. Yeah. Say good night, champ. Yeah. Look at the champion. Where the heck is he going? When you're on the defensive against Kane, anything goes. Here we go, no DQ match. You still have to win by pinfall. Okay. I can't tell you how much this hurt me. Bro, they started me off with a chair. Hell yeah, immediately. <laughs> immediately, fuck it up. I don't know why I thought there would be a good sprinting chair shot animation, but my brain was like, yeah, close the gap, use the chair. This did not work. <laughs> what is my only goal? Uh, to to I, win? No. What does it say up in the upper left corner? Oh, <laughs> I have uh, literally okay. failed this immediately. <laughs> like, <laughs> there was my chance. I just needed to hit this jerk with a chair. I have already Submission screwed that up. Just starstruck, man. It's fucking king. Oh, look at this combination of strikes. <laughs> See? Just wanted me to hit him with the chair. And then I could move on. Counters. What corner do you think this means? Doesn't. That side, yeah. 
Yeah, which one? Uh, I'm, I'm assuming the back left. No. I don't think it is. We'll find out. I'm pretty sure it's the front one here. And Kane is clearly looking for a... Not allowing that to go on any longer. Oh, a neck breaker. Kane is losing grip on this match. Again, right I'm not sure how to pick people like up Kane yet. And right yes, you're right. I am a little starstruck. I was not expecting Kane. And, uh, yeah. I'm trying to figure out which one it wants me to. Near the aisle. Okay, which one is near the aisle? They're both near the aisle. With the Irish whip, Kane reverses it. Oh my goodness, did you hear That's the what it steps? wanted. They heard that in Syracuse. Stop trying to suck up the coal, Saxton. This has to stop. That was the clue, and that's what it wanted me to do. I was supposed to try to Irish whip him into the steps out here. The WWE Universal Champion needs medical attention. No, not this. Not the choke slam on the steel steps. Straight to hell, champ. This is horrific. It serves him right. He said he was ready for whatever Miz had planned. That kind of hubris <laughs> has consequences. Speaking of consequences, you have to wonder if the Miz understands the ramifications of what he's unleashed. I don't think he does. Solid WWE moment. The big red machine has his demented eyes set on becoming the next WWE Universal Champion. Buckle yeah, you up. think so, bud? This is going to be one hell of a ride. A bit. So, yeah, buckle up for some Kane and some good Kane stories. It'd be fun. It wasn't. <laughs> So Lita reaches out to me. Real name, Amy Damas. That's right, they were kayfabe married at one point. William Regal lets me know he's still rooting for me. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Uh, hey Dom, what's up? I know things started out rough between us going for the WWE Universal title. It was dog eat dog, but I get it, because it was just like that in the yard back when I was in the joint. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> sure thing, man. Water under the bridge. This thing Miz has going on with you and Kane, it ain't right. But I think I might know a way you can take care of that big red freak. I am definitely open to some advice, especially since I hear Miz is going to announce a title match against Kane. Glad you're willing to listen, but not here. Miz has got stooges creeping everywhere. You want my help with Kane? Meet me out in the parking lot. I'll keep that in mind. Lita actually offered to help me out too. Seems like you gotta make a choice then. Get help from Kane's old flame, or fight fire with real fire. Me. I'm sorry, it sounds like I'm about to get jumped in the parking lot. Not happening. Right. I appreciate you, Dom, but Kane and Lita have history. I'm gonna see what she has in mind. Suit yourself. But just remember, when Kane beats you down and takes your title, you could have prevented it. Too bad. What have you done? Yeah. <laughs> like, apparently you've gone to jail since the last time we saw each other. Um, congrats. I'm what getting out. Joint, man.
Do you get to punch Troy in the face later? No. Lita. Lita, I appreciate you helping me out against Kane, but why are we going to Mexico? What does this have to do with anything? Listen, I got my start in Mexico, and I ended up wrestling in some pretty out of the way places. Dark, dangerous places. Okay. <laughs> so long before I came to WWE and met Kane, I encountered a similar monster out in the jungles of Lacondon. They called him La Llama Roja, or the Red Flame. Are you messing with me? Not at all. I made some calls that I found him. So we're going to Mexico because if you can survive the flame, you might be able to defeat my dear ex-husband. That sounds like a pretty big if. Great risks, greater rewards. Come on, let's go on an adventure, kid. I guess you're going to fucking Mexico. So real life, she did get her start in Mexico, uh, and Amy actually, prior to really getting going, actually lived with a group of people and dumpster dived, and in some ways kind of enjoyed that lifestyle, like it was a choice for her, like she didn't have to, she could have been doing other stuff, but like, she was enjoying that type of life. So, no, when she says, like, dark places, she meant it. Like, she was literally living semi-homeless in Mexico. And that's how she ended up getting into wrestling, was going in and seeing it there, and being like, holy crap, what is this? So, somewhat legit <laughs> story here. I don't know about the red flame, but <laughs> I'll let you judge that one for yourself when you see the red flame. What oh, up? yeah. I, uh... Dude, his arm's merging with his fucking tit. <laughs> 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 That's amazing. I, like, I... How did you get those tights on? Your feet are so small. That's a lot of man and a lot of spandex. Leather, whatever that is. And did he draw his mustache on for his beard? <laughs> like, why does that look like this... bad black paint? Mm -hmm. Why does his ma mask look like Darth Maul? <laughs> <laughs> And I'm just here with Lita. <laughs> Doing my thing. So this is Mexico, huh? Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. Pretty nice down here. Uh, yeah, I, I was not expecting the red flame to be this. Uh, uh. I don't think anyone was buddy. <laughs> I was waiting for it to be like Omos in a mask or something like, uh, right. or like Reverse Kane. You know what I mean? Uh, Watch it, it was just a, a little person comes out. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude. Wow. That would have been amazing. spectacular. Um, Holt heard of them. I like, feel like there was two routes to go down and they went down one of them. Agreed. <laughs> I made the world's oh, sure, largest luchador. Oh, sure, the ring. Oh, Moss broke the ring, but Dad didn't? Come on. No comment. Famous yeah. I, for the love of God, want to see his finisher. More than anything. Uh... Oh, I don't know if we do. It's a good question. Yeah, he started with it.
Amy throws me a chair, and I'm like, again, is the chair legal? Like, I don't recall this being a no disqualifications match or a, like, why why are you tossing me a chair? Because we're in fucking Mexico, baby. Yeah, it, this guy is huge. I don't know if those would hurt so bad. There's a lot of fudge there. <laughs> like, I'm sure the Stop pressure would suck. Cool, yeah, like, I'm sure the pressure would suck, but, like, past that. I don't think so. Well, you can do it. You do a little. No, it's almost out. Yeah, okay. That's his finisher, I think. Yeah, that's his finisher. I stole it. That's a weak finisher. I had to stomp that belly. Come on, dude. It's like, I had to boot the skin. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that to happen. And then he does, like, nothing with it. <laughs> this is the quick punch in the face, dude. I love it. Alright, well, your finisher gave me some weird results. How about my finisher? Yeah, that ain't happening. You're not wrong. Like, let's be honest. I went to go lift him and just collapsed under the weight of the man. He pinned me that way. Needless to say, I was a bit disappointed. I, I would have been too. You did, you did hype that up a little too much. You, you brought me all the way to Mexico for the world's chuffiest luchador. Thanks for the chair. I didn't use it. Do I still get paid? Pretty good, like... <laughs> this was per diem, right? Yeah, right? Jeez. He's not wrong. The red flame was everything you said, Lita. It was My whole he? body is basically a bruise. He landed Mayel on Maroja me. is a legend, a monster. And as rough as you're feeling right now... <sighs> yeah. It's gonna be worse with Kane. Especially now that it's a casket match. Oh, shit. Can't wait. If you beat Kane at his own game, it'll go a long way to earn the respect of the WWE Universe. And now you know the kind of effort it's going to take to do it. It'll take everything I got. And then some. Which is why when grit and determination aren't enough to put Kane in a casket, Maybe you use a little something extra. A gun. Such as? <laughs> Check your bag when you get to SmackDown. Oh, when you shit. use him, tell Kane his ex says hello. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, it's Are not you a, a hitman? <laughs> Your lead is fucking hitman, dog. I am one of the 8%. To do the campaign? <laughs> So, okay. Kane. Yeah. And is for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. So, that clause is my undoing. Take a guess at how many times I had to restart this match trying to figure out how to make this work. Ooh. A, a solid four times. Mmm, more. Ooh. Double digits? Nope, under. Mm, eight. Just over. Seven. I did seven. So, this wasn't just like hit a combination of buttons. It replaced one of my signatures with this. Oh. 
So I had to figure out how to switch to something I like never use. And then figure out how its mechanic worked on the fly. And it did not work for me. <laughs> on the fly. I struggled so hard with Alita's gift. So this is what you're going to watch for the match is my seventh attempt at this casket match where I finally got that damn thing to work. So again, for me, the difficulty here isn't too high. I actually have no problem playing at this level. I could probably bump it up a little bit. But the moment the little left-handed box starts telling me what I have to do, that difficulty suddenly goes up like threefold more like universally overrated the fans may adore him now but let's see how long that love affair lasts first one's five to me yeah. the, the champ's next champion. challenge starts now hell yeah yeah just remember folks little timmy lives for the likes and subscribes this year i'm pretty sure i just heard him yell let's go to the discord I, you might find little Timmy in the Discord. There, there's a good chance for that. <laughs> there are no pinfalls, submissions, disqualifications, or counters. I feel like a very short the casket for like six five three. To force their <laughs> inside of the casket. After closing the casket lid shut, the remaining superstar will be declared the winner. Now, let the match begin! <laughs> right. This are done. Damn it, Lita. <laughs> Wait, what was in the bag that she told you to check? Watch and find out, Funk. Oh, shit. That's why people should like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Follow us. Share this video. Let others find out the glory. From parts unknown. And his I like the match better. Weighing in at 240 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Marvelous Showtime Bear! You got this, buddy. <coughs> like I said, facing Kane no matter how many times wasn't I've seen hard. A casket match, they still make me feel a little uneasy. Could you imagine it was, being trapped in one of those? It was 100% oh, what it was asking me to do. The freaky part. Kane sees that casket and he gets excited. He loves it. The champ hasn't faced Freaking anything like this in his career. Machine. Is this the night his championship is put to rest? Oh, man, and you'll note in this match, up until it gets to that Lita's surprise thing, I pretty much knock these things out real fast. And like I said, that's because I've already gotten to that point so many times. Uh, cool note, with the casket, you can run on top of it. It interacts when you get hit on top of it. Like, So you can do matches on top of the casket. It's kind of sweet. Oh, what a counter. Set him up for the flatliner. Good the flatliner is actually a secondary move in my move set because he's a super heavyweight he and I can't lift him. So when you have that scenario happen, it substitutes it with a different move. And now he's just being pushed around. He's just on the wrong side of this every maneuver. This is Lita's surprise. Oh, front of me. Okay, already. Right, Timmy, yeah. Somebody like and subscribe. The Thanks, guys. For keeping Timmy alive. Why are your boots acting all fuck you, dude? Look at that shit. No clue yep. what he hopes to find out there. Bringing a steel chair into play here. I said no to the chair. I said no to this. So oh, from here out, it. it's me trying to figure out how to make this brass knuckle mechanic work. Uh -oh. And it's a timed event that oh, needs two or three buttons. Along with me having the signature. Able to sidestep it. Bang! What a knee! 
The Big Red Machine is now under heavy pressure. The Big Red Monster showing weakness here. Wild I don't back need elbow I got knees of steel. I will say, at this point, I am so pissed off that I'm honed in on the reversals. And I'm more than thankful for it. Kane counters. Crucial turnaround there because Kane was falling behind. Yeah, Kane's survival instincts are taking over. Like there, that was the jankiest reversal I've ever seen. But I'm glad I got it. Be good. You just have a small time to do that. And the devil's favorite demon turns his twisted eyes. Yeah, a, a couple of them are rough, man. And like, I'm a slow tapper to begin with, so those really don't help me. Like, so I don't want the comeback move, and that's what keeps happening to me. Even though I have the brass knuckles one equipped, it keeps trying to do the comeback thing. And it's all because I'm standing in slightly the wrong spot. My comeback and the brass knuckles exist in the same zone. And because I didn't get to choose which one it replaced, I got stuck with this. So, like, this is one major gripe I definitely had with it. This, this was frustrating because their own mechanics were fighting each other. I will not you want to be extremely disappointed if you slip in the casket and his feet don't glitch out of the bottom of the casket. I want to see it. When you see him in the casket, I think you'll understand. A steady stream of moves taking out Kane. On the chair. It really looks like Kane's struggling right now. Oh, piss off. Casket. See how much bigger it is than me? Doing their best They did it! They survived for now! Gotta be breathing a sigh of relief. Every time you get out of the casket, you do that stupid little sit thing there. Heads out and he has all the time he wants. Pulls the trigger. Oh, knee strike. Yeah. Man, just a multitude of strikes. Hey, right to the face. Oh, no. well, yeah, I said fuck it and went for the vertebraker right here. Like at this point, I've had enough of Kane's crap. Looks like the champ is going to retain. And now it's that whole okay, now I gotta build my signature back up so that I can do this damn thing again. Okay. Grab the chair. <laughs> It really likes to aggro you to the ropes, not the corners. Perched up top, a diving knee drop. The big red machine is now under heavy pressure. Kane has to turn this around and quick. Kane got to be shit to lay in the casket. And like, damn. Tossed into the casket. It's about to get very dark in there. The fuck it is? Did our next ones? I can't believe they actually made it out of the cast. There's enough time between the time it goes to start closing and stuff that I was able to like re-grab the controller for better tapping too. I will say that. He's taking charge here. Hang on. There it finally is. Done. Never saw it coming. Fucking done. Looking to vanquish the devil's favorite demon. I think the crowd knows now he's done. To see. This is the time to get them in the casket and try to win this thing. And Kane reversed me. Big after you finish, or after breast knuckle, the dude's like, nah, I'm good. Which is part of why I completely missed that reversal. I, at this point, I'm this more than a little vicious. WTF here. Like. Heads out of the ring. What's next? And I'm button mashing, dude. Like, I can't get up. <laughs> and yeah. I love it. Yeet!
like Kane decided to fight after I had already done everything I had to do. Yeah. Over the top and into the casket. This is over. This is over. Trying to close the lid. Trying this is gonna be tough. Doing the baby. Sit on that thing. It's a hell of a fight. And it doesn't pay off either. Yeah, it doesn't show me like slamming it shut. Light it on fire again. Sorry. Hey. There was a no disqualification match. It's Roman Reigns. This fucking guy. Congratulations. The Dark Horse Man. No, not this fucking guy. I just restarted this match for the seventh time and finally got that right, realizing that the only reason I am struggling with it is because the mechanics are dual la layered on top of each other. And this asshat has the audacity to ruin my celebration. I'm all like, cool, yep, I could end this here, this'll be nice, this'll be good, and then there's this dick. It's just to win another race. And I didn't even have to win it for you this time. Did you forget? You're only standing there because of me. The locker room hasn't forgotten. The WWE Universe hasn't. And they won't. You can hold my WWE Universal title for a year. Two years. Why not three? It doesn't matter. You're just a tenant. I'm the landlord. You're holding something that doesn't belong to you because its owner has other interests. For now. Later, Chill. Was that really necessary for me? Yeah, I love how you charge it again with the no ass and just call right now. <laughs> right, like. Just made a huge win for the WWE Universal Champion. Feel like nah, a keep loss. your head up, buddy. You deserved it. That was good. That was rough. Get in line. Um, back where we started from. <laughs> yeah, no, Kane, cool surprise. The Red Flame was not expecting that. Uh, Lita was a nice C. The, that damn brass match. knuckles, dude. It was a fun, ma a fun match to watch, rather. Uh, the casket match, for sure. Giant chubby red flame guy. I I don't. You let us know in the comments below or in the Discord how you felt about red flame. Uh, like subscribe, again what he said. Go to the Discord, let us know, and tune in for episode <gasps> six. Yeah.